Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Jared Trotter, and today we're examining something that's critical for bridging the gap between design and production, a manufacturing bill of materials. If you're a design engineer, you're probably already familiar with the EBOM, the Engineering Bill of Materials. This is the list of components and sub-assemblies created in your CAD system during product design. It defines the product structure as it was engineered. The EBOM is ideal for design, collaboration, and engineering accuracy. But here's the problem. It doesn't necessarily reflect how the product is actually made, assembled, or packaged. And that's where the manufacturing bomb, or MBOM, comes into play. The MBOM takes everything from the EBOM and adds real-world elements required for physical production and delivery, including packaging, tooling, and documentation. For example, in the case of a skateboard, your EBOM might include the deck, trucks, bearings, wheels, and hardware. The MBOM takes these items and adds packaging like cardboard boxes and foam inserts, tooling for both manufacturing and end-user maintenance, and documents like instruction sheets and warranty information. Most of these aren't typically part of the CAD model, but they're absolutely necessary for getting a complete, shippable product out the door. Any company that produces a physical product has manufacturing instructions in some shape or form. It may not be a formal process, and it may even be a disjointed operation from the design engineers who compose the EBOM, leading to miscommunication and long lead times when changes are required. A solution to this logistic challenge is the Manufacturing Items Engineer role on the 3D Experience platform. The Manufacturing Items Management app empowers you to take your existing EBOM and build a scope or linked manufacturing assembly that includes components necessary for production. Define manufacturing assembly kits that denote the production floor equivalent of a sub-assembly, purchase parts, and in-house manufactured materials that are the end result of sub-processes. This connected structure improves traceability and reduces miscommunication, ensuring an efficient path from the design file to the final shipping container. Let's recap. The engineering bomb defines what the product is, perfect for design and engineering. The manufacturing bomb defines how the product is built, essential for manufacturing. And with the manufacturing items engineer role, you can connect these two bombs in an integrated CAD aware environment. A manufacturing bill of materials is the gateway to more granular and specific operations like process management and work instructions to flesh out the details of properly sequenced assemblies and worker-friendly documentation. Stay tuned for future videos on these roles. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment with what topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource.